Alright, this is the legendary deathless guide to the level outskirts, where I will be doing the entire mission with zero deaths, no glitches of any kind, and killing every enemy in the entire level. And I'll just be going over some of my strategies that help me do this challenge for the entire game. Um, so yeah, this is mission four, technically, but I consider it mission two, but yeah, can hear me, Chief. outskirts. Shake it off, and I hope you enjoy. Clear the crash site. Go, go, go. So, yeah, just clear this courtyard. There's a few grunts, some to your right. Then two more grunts up here. Once all of these enemies die, then you'll get and grunts spawning over here. Two elites, or two of each, two elites, two grunts. And as soon as you kill all these enemies on the left here, the elites and grunts, then jackal snipers will spawn. So you don't have to worry about jackals never spawning until these guys die. Alright, so I'm going to go up these stairs. I want to pick up a plasma pistol and a plasma rifle. Because I'm going to give the plasma rifle to Johnson. And one thing, anytime you're going up these stairs, always jump. Because there's that window door up there. And jackal snipers on that building behind it can actually shoot you through that door. So... Uh, unless you jump. They can't see you if you jump, so... Always jump as you're going up these stairs. Um... Okay, so... Normally I would just give Johnson that... That plasma rifle. Like, right now, but... He did something really annoying, which is... Like, he actually went up the stairs quickly. Most of the time he... Is, like, super slow to come up these stairs, so you can give him... The plasma rifle, so... Ah, crap. Um. Alright, this is the... So, sorry. Ah, uh, crap. If you can hear me, Chief. Shake it off, Marines! Clear the... Blink, if you can hear me, Chief. Shake it off! This is the legendary deathless guide to the level outskirts where I will be doing the entire mission without dying, obviously. No glitches of any kind, and I'll be killing every enemy in the entire level. So, th right here I'll just be going over my strats that help me do the entire game without any deaths. Ah, gosh. Oh, Marines! Oh crap. Um Blink if you can hear me, Chief. Hey, this is the um, Deathless Guide to the Mission Outskirts on Legendary. You can see it's on Legendary. So, here I'll just be doing the entire mission without dying a single time, killing every enemy in the entire level, and no glitches of any kind. And so my goal here is just to kind of go over some of my strategies a lot more in detail which helped me to complete this entire the entire game on legendary without any deaths, zero glitches and I killed every enemy in the entire game. So yeah, I'm just going to be going over my strategies and uh, I hope you enjoy. Shake it off, Marines. Clear the crash site. Go, go, go. And one more thing, if you hear me talking to people, I am live streaming this, so So here I'm just clearing this courtyard. There's some grunts
Close to the right, and then more grunts on the balcony right there. Once you kill these enemies, then you'll get two elites and two grunts that spawn over here. And it isn't until you kill these elites and grunts that jackal snipers will spawn. So you don't even have to worry about jackal snipers until these guys are dead. Um, okay, before I go up these stairs, I want a plasma pistol and a plasma rifle. I'm just going to be dual wielding. Um, and any time you go up the stairs, always jump before you go up the stairs because there's this window right there where jackal snipers can shoot through and they can kill you if you're just walking normally. So I'm going to jump. Now I'm going to have my plasma pistol out, or my plasma rifle out, because I want to give it to Johnson as soon as he comes up the stairs. And the reason I want to give it to Johnson is because mainly he'll just kill drones for me. That, that's the main reason. And sometimes enemies will come, you just have to shoot them. So now that he's up here, I'm going to give him my plasma rifle. anybody else. Well, I also want the sniper rifle, obviously, but... Okay, so... I almost just died to that guy. So, as you saw, you can have an elite on the balcony. Sometimes that elite goes on the balcony, sometimes... Um... He falls down to the bottom, but... You only have to worry about an elite on this level... Right now. Like, the very first wave. You don't have to worry about having him... Any other waves, um, this is the only time you'll ever see an elite up here, unless he like comes from the stairs to my right. So in this area, I'm going to strategically destroy pieces of glass, so I can get like a really good head glitch on various jackal snipers throughout this area. And a head glitch is just like me put, putting myself in in a, in a position where I can only see the jackal sniper's head, which makes it so they can't shoot back at me. Alright, so a little bit about the jackal snipers in this area. There's four different spawns in this area for where they can spawn. I'm going to be considering anything right of where I'm aiming right now to be on the right side and left of that to be on the left side. So just for like my convenience, you can consider it however you want, but on the right side, there's three different places they can spawn. And in those three different areas, they'll only ever spawn once. So if you kill one in one of them, you don't ever have to worry about seeing one there again. Okay? But on the left, um, they can just keep spawning there. And there's only one position on the left. So four positions total where they spawn. And, like, you know how I said, like, you could be killed by jackal snipers if you go up the stairs? So, like, right after you kill those four those two elites and two grunts, you always get three jackal snipers in that spot on the left. You always get those first. After that, after those three, the order is completely random. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing. On the left, they can just keep spawning on the right. Like I said, you can if you kill one in one spot, they won't spawn there ever again. Um... And once you kill, like not counting these first four I'm about to kill, but after you kill these first four, once you kill um, any jackal snipers, you'll have like a wave of enemies or two where you can just be out in the open and not worry about them because, or you don't have to worry about being sniped because it usually you have like a little bit of time before another jackal sniper spawns or like I said, one or two waves before another jackal sniper spawns. I shouldn't say usually, it's always. Um, let's see, anything else? Um, see, so yeah, I'm just going to strategically destroy pieces of glass in this area, which will help me to deal with the jackal snipers better. And every once in a while, other pieces of glass will be destroyed, like with random grenades or something. And that's fine, it's just a lot more annoying I guess because you have to make sure you position yourself so that jackal snipers can't see you 
So the majority of this courtyard fight, I'm just going to be staying right where I'm at right now. And like I said, this will just protect me from the jackal snipers where anywhere else in the courtyard, you're pretty much exposed to them. And they can snipe you relatively easily. Um, and I'm also going to be listening to my marines dialogue because they'll inform me if enemies are coming up to my right or from my right. And there's like multiple th types of dialogue they can say, but I don't actually know what they all are, but off the top of my head, they're pretty obvious when you hear them. They're just kind of things you have to remember. Um, so yeah, just, I'm going, there's only like two pieces of glass I ever intend to destroy. And I'll show you what those are in a second. Or right now, actually. So to kill these guys on the left, I destroyed that piece. And that will let me do this. Just come right here. And he can't snipe me because I can only see his head. He can't snipe me. So, you know how I said there were three on the left? And I only, I only killed one? Well, that's just because my marines killed two for me. There's there's three there, trust me. And destroying the same piece of glass. Oh, there's, I guess there's still one more alive right there, but... Killing this piece of glass will also let me do this, where you can kind of look through this little crack. I missed, but... That's one of the dialogues, Here They Come Marines. Where enemies should be pushing up. And whenever you have enemies pushing up, or jackal snipers, like you have to choose between the two, always, always, always deal with enemies coming up first. Okay. So now I still have to deal with two jackal snipers, so... Just inch your way out. Okay, I'm gonna let Johnson kill that one. Whenever they're on that ledge, there's like not very many good, there's not a really great strat besides just jumping and shooting mid-jump. At least that I found. Um, and one more thing about this area. You burn through ammo like really fast in this area but there are four or there's more than four there's five different places to get ammo i'm only going to be using four for this for the initial part and i'll save the fifth for for um right before i deal with the hunters so there's ammo right next to the turret on the ground there's a battle rifle right there and then there's four packets of ammo three of them are right here oh this is a marine's battle rifle that's kind of nice but Dead Marine gave me his battle rifle. Anyways, there's those three, and then there's also one over here. Um, I'll show you that in a second. So yeah, there's those three, and then there's also one back there. So just so you know where all the ammo's at. So I'm gonna try my best not to go out, out there, like ever. Or at least until I kill this Jackal Sniper, because one of the three on the right spawns, like, right above there. And the moment you get, like, right there, in that point, he can see you and snipe you. Um, so, yeah, don't go out there unless you kill him. Because, like I said earlier, once you kill one of the ones on the right, they'll never spawn there again. So, you're safe to go out as soon as you kill that guy, because there's a little ceiling right there. As long as you hide behind that, or under that, these other two can't see you. So, one other thing that I like to do in this area, it's not necessary, but I like to do it anyways, is I like to have a bunch of plasma pistols with me up here. <clears throat> Jumping as I go up the stairs, just remember. I like to have a bunch of plasma pistols up here. Just in case I need them, you know. And just use this wall for cover when you're killing these enemies. <clears throat> like frag grenades and just overcharging the elites, it works pretty well. So it's been about two waves of enemies since I've had a, a jackal sniper. So I'm just looking around. Yeah, there's one, yep.
I don't have an angle on his head, which is kind of annoying. Try to get the headshots if you can. Eh, I couldn't right there, but... Okay, right there, that's my fault for not listening to Johnson's dialogue. He said he notified me that they were coming up, but I just wasn't paying attention. Sometimes you can get too focused on the Jackal Snipers that... Yeah, you, what happened will happen, you know, if you get too focused on the Jackal Snipers. So now I can see his head. It doesn't really matter if I can see his head right there because two sniper shots to the body will kill a Jackal Sniper. Or one to the head. See, I'm going to grab this ammo back here. So now that I've killed the first wave of Jackals, um, and not, not Jackal Snipers, but Shielded Jackals, drones will spawn. So right now I'll have a, wa a wave of drones to deal with. And Johnson will also notify you this with his dialogue right here. Like, yeah. So since I killed that Jackal Sniper, I can do this. Um, because there's like a wave. A little bit of time between Jackal Sniper spawns. But say that I... Um, didn't get that Jackal Sniper, but he didn't spawn. I couldn't do this because one spawns up there, and I have to worry about him spawning. If that Jackal Sniper spawns and I'm right here, I'm just dead, you know? <clears throat> so you don't have to, like, shoot the drones yourself. I just do it for, like, fastness sake, I guess. Because Johnson will usually deal with them for you. So I killed that guy, I'm still looking right there, and also down there. And in order to look for that guy, this is a good strat, you just go right here, jump and crouch, and you can see if there's a Jackal Sniper there. Um, so since I killed the Jackal, I can peek out, it's safe. And I heard Johnson say across the street down low, which means there's enemies in there. So I'm gonna nade in there. That nade's not necessary, it just kind of like gets them out. They aren't in there anymore. So yeah, staying right here for most of this fight. You can see everything from right here. And if you do have to deal with enemies that are over here, but you aren't sure, like, or if that, that guy hasn't died and you're not sure if he's going to spawn, like, soon, you can stay right here. Obviously, this kind of sucks because you can't see anything to the left, but it still works. Um. See, I think I pretty much said everything about the courtyard part. Oh, one final thing. Say for... This happens every once in a while, but if for some reason you aren't able to kill all three of the ones on the right, because you will always have those three spawn. Um, you can actually stay right here after, after you kill all the enemies in the Phantom. And if you're right here, then the Hunters will not come through that door. It's kind of weird, but you can just chill right here where I'm standing and wait for that Jackal Sniper that for some reason, hasn't spawned yet to spawn, you know? And make sure if you run out of battle rifle ammo like I do, do not drop your gun. You will not be able to pick it back up. So I see him. So in order to deal with that guy, this is the only don't really use the glass to deal with like to deal with the jackal sniper go up on the staircase and then slowly inch your way up until you can see his head right there just like that all right now that i'm out of ammo 
I'm going to only pick one of these up at a time, so you maximize your ammo. But since I was completely out, I can pick up two and not worry about wasting ammo. Because those have 72 each, and you hold 144 total, so... So right now, I'm actually still waiting for this Jackal Sniper up there to spawn. I haven't killed him yet, so this will be a great example of what I just kind of said a minute ago. Once you kill these guys, you can get more jackals to the right. Or I shouldn't say you can, you will get more jackals to the right. Open your shield. Come on. Okay. So yeah, since I haven't gotten that guy up there yet, the jackal sniper, I'm going to just wait here, like I said earlier, until he spawns. Alright, there's an elite alive still, but whatever. Um... Alright, so earlier I said that I only like to destroy two of these. That's one of them. This is the other one. That will let me just see that Jackal Sniper's head pretty easily. As soon as he spawns. And right here, you really don't have to worry about elites pushing you. Because, like I said, there's one elite alive. I could tell because he was shooting at the pelican, but... For some reason, they don't, put, they don't push you here. Alright, this is taking a while. Yep, yep, I know this game too well. Alright, now it's safe to go out. So before you go and fight the hunters, just grab all this ammo. Now keep your frag grenades equipped right here. So I'm going to deal with this guy first, because he's alive. But now just aim right at the door, kind of like halfway up. And you can shoot one in the stomach, then line up again, shoot the other one in the stomach, then throw a frag grenade. So in this game, grenades, like, stun enemies. Or, not enemies, but they stun hunters. Or just any explosion in general will stun a hunter. So like a brute shot, fuel rod, etc. will stun a hunter. Alright, so before you leave this area, make sure you grab there's, there's a bunch of grenades. Try to max out grenades if you can. You won't always be able to, but just try. Alright, so, sorry, let me go more in depth about what happens with the hunters with grenades. They'll either be stunned when you throw a grenade at them, or any, any explosive, or they'll just start running and, and not fire. And that, that one direction can be like any d random direction. It's just random, but... Yeah, so that's what happens when you start when you throw or when, when an explosive hits on a hunter. All right, so we're out of the courtyard. Now there's one jackal sniper to the left here. So I'm going to. This is kind of like a loose lineup. I've never really spent much time like perfecting this quote unquote, I guess. But I'm going to slow down. Line up like with the right below that glass right there. I'm just gonna slow inch my way out. Now that I see him firing, wait until. So he always fires up to the right. Go far enough to where you can see him firing, but not far too far where you can actually see the jackal sniper. And you're just gonna wait in between shots. So. Because there's a little bit of a delay in between shots with a Jackal Sniper. Um, now it's very important that you hit this shot. Well, you can miss once and be safe, but you cannot miss twice. Okay. Now by missing, I mean missing his body entirely. Missing his head is fine. You can shoot him in the body. Shooting Jackal Snipers in the body will stun them as well. Or it'll like make them flinch and they won't be able to fire, but... You cannot miss his body entirely twice. Um, so yeah, just wait until he shoots. The next time he shoots, I'm just going to go peek that. Then just kill these jackals. Don't go too far up or else they can kill you pretty easily, but... They can't shoot at me from back here, so... Sergeant, I need you on that <laughs> nice two-for-one. 
My pelicans are going to start airlifting armor and reinforcements. Okay, so pick up a beam rifle. Drop your sniper and pick up a beam rifle real quick. One of these marines that gets dropped off will have a, an SMG. The other two will have a battle rifle. I want the SMG guy to have the beam rifle. Because SMG is not going to help me at all here. And then go pick up your sniper again. Alright, so sniper alley, the dreaded sniper alley. I'm going to show you a spot. Or, or wait, there's six sniper jackals in this next area that I'm about to go into. I'm going to show you a spot where only two of them will even be able to fire at you. And those, I'll show you how to deal with those two pretty easily. So, keep your battle rifle equipped because the first one's like pretty close to you. It's just on patrol. You want to get this headshot, or before you shoot this guy, wait for your marines to kind of come close to you. Because for the second of those two I, I mentioned, you want to make sure your marines are getting shot at first before you like deal with the second one. So just wait for your marines to kind of come up close to you. So I'm just going to wait here for not that long, like a second. Then I'm going to have my battle rifle, shoot that guy, then immediately go behind th this box. Wait for your marines to go out. And as soon as your marines are getting shot at, just waiting for all three to go out. Then you can... So my mar That's the second one right there. Um, so if you're back here, those two back in the back actually are out of the range that they can fire at. So... Anyways, so, more about that second one. Um, so he hides behind that box right there. That box right there. Um, he'll either do one of two things. He'll peek out to the left like he did, in which case you can just hit an easy headshot. Or your marines will do it for you, like they just, like that's what just happened to me. Um, but if he hides behind that box, that's the second thing he can do. He can just stay behind that box, right? You can shoot this three times and it'll explode, and it'll kill him. So yeah, now I just have to stay back here and snipe some of these drones. Kill this jackal. Don't go too far to the right because then another jackal can see you. Another jackal sniper. My aim is bad today. See, I just keep killing drones until they stop spawning. Usually takes a minute, but there's a lot of them. But not like too long, but you know. So I can see his wing, or its wing. Um, so I know that that one's there. I messed up. Thought it would die, so I stopped shooting. Alright. Okay, so. Again, inch your way kind of to the right, because there's a jackal sniper right there. So just inch your way to the right. Kill him. Now there's one more jackal sniper in this area. Only five have died. The other one is up to the right, up on top of that roof, a little bit up. So there's also camo elites that will spawn once I go far enough up. I'm going to deal with the camo elites first. Because um, I kind of have to go... F if I go far enough up to deal with the jackal sniper, then the camo elites will already have spawned. So, like, yeah, just deal with the camo elites first. So I'm going to grab this sniper ammo before I do that. Also, this battle rifle ammo for my marines. Okay, so there's three different places that you can trigger these camo elites from. Just It's just RNG. It depends on where they spawn at. I'll show you where all three of them are. Um, and I'll, like, so up here to the left, sometimes there's a sword elite there. If you see a sword elite, fire once at him with, like, a battle rifle. And then retreat back to behind those boxes. If there isn't a sword elite there, 
then they'll then there will be a guy behind this wall in a little room and to spawn him you can just throw a grenade at this wall and bounce it in there frag grenade i should say um and very rarely does this happen but if you still don't have elite the elite spawn after both of those then i'll show you here in a second but you have to go out over to the right where the elites will also sometimes spawn but so i got him so i just shoot once i should have shot at him that was a mistake Make sure you back up like immediately because there's that dual plasma rifle guy. That, I don't know if you saw, but. See, so yeah, with camo elites, you get zero aim assist, so it's a lot harder. Or just camo enemies in general. Now, there could be two or three camo enemies. That's also RNG. I got three there, but there could have just been just as equally. or e There could have. Just as well have been two. Um, so yeah, I'll speak more on like that third spot that you, they can spawn from in a second. But right now I'm going to kill this sixth jackal sniper just by standing right here, kind of inching my way out until I can see his head. Um, so yeah, say they weren't up there or back there. Then... The only other spot that they can be, and this rarely happens, but it does happen sometimes, is back here. So, yeah, if you don't get either of those, then, and you get, have to be, or you have to, like, go back there to get them, kill this Jackal Sniper first. It's the only enter you want to kill the sixth Jackal Sniper before killing the uh, Camo Elites. Otherwise, kill the Camo Elites first. Okay, so... Over to my left, there's going to be more Jackal Snipers. But there's also going to... I can just tell my radar. You can see that red dot. That's just a shielded Jackal. So I'm going to jump up on top of this. Just turn left. Shoot. Okay, so in order to spawn these two Jackal Snipers... Or there's actually more than two. There's a lot more, but... I'm just talking about these two at the end. Just go kind of up here. Once you get that checkpoint, they spawn. Sometimes you don't get that checkpoint. Uh, that, that checkpoint doesn't really matter, but... You just have to kind of go a little bit far forward. And they'll spawn. Even if you don't get the checkpoint. Alright, so here... I like to put myself right here. If you're right here, they cannot see you because of that box. This kind of just stops me, so I can slowly inch my way out. So this is kind of like another loose lineup. It's not really perfect, but kind of line yourself up like on the top of that paper or calendar or whatever that is. Um, just inch your way out until you can see a jackal. Once you see his arm, he can't see you, but I know his head's like right there. So I'm gonna do something where I'm gonna turn. Le I'm gonna go left, then shoot, and then instantly go back to the right. Like that. And as soon as you kill one, this guy will spawn on, on this little bridge right here. Snipe him twice in the legs, he'll die. Then I'm going to do the same thing. Sometimes the second guy, like, literally hugs this box. So I'm just going to make sure he's not right there by just quickly peeking. He is, so... That first one was just to verify where he was, not to kill him, really. Alright, so I can see his arm. I know his head's, like, right where my sniper rifle's at. So. Alright, that's annoying. Um, So I'm going to do the same thing. And now, I've killed three jackal snipers. Okay, so there's still two more jackal snipers before you... Or there's still like four more on this level, but there's two more like pretty close. So I'm gonna drop my sniper rifle for the time being because there's a lot more like close quarters combat. I just want two two plasma pistols. Okay, so there's also a jackal sniper right to my left. 
Keep your plasma grenades equipped. For some reason, I noticed when you throw a frag, it like despawns behind the wall or something. But it doesn't do that with a plasma grenade. Um, so yeah, don't go out too far. Stay in these archways. There's a jackal sniper right back there. Um, and with this plasma grenade I'm about to throw, make sure you throw it relatively low. High enough that it stays up there, but not too far that it goes like super far in there. One thing that can happen is this jackal sniper will like dive away from the grenade if it goes too far back. And you'll have a jackal sniper that's like right here, right in front of you. And that's just horrible. It's so awkward to deal with. Um, so make sure you throw this plasma grenade kind of like right how I'm going to throw it. Like right there. And you can tell because I got campaign scoring that he died, but... Okay, as soon as that jackal sniper dies, there's going to be... I actually don't know the exact count, but I think it's eight waves of enemies that spawn. If you go too far forward... You have to go pretty far forward, but if you go too far forward, they'll stop spawning. spawning so you'll actually technically be skipping enemies. Because you'll like stop enemies from spawning that would have otherwise spawned. Anyways, so there's eight waves of enemies. Each wave has three grunts and one elite. Okay. You only have to kill three of those enemies in order for the next wave to spawn. You do not have to kill all four. Um, so what that means is that you can kill three grunts and then one elite will be will still be alive from the previous wave. You know, then you'll get another wave and then you'll have two elites alive at the same time, which you don't want. So make sure you try to kill these elites. Try to kill the elite in each wave before, before like killing all three grunts. Um, see, so yeah, I'm just gonna stay here. There's two little pathways over to the right. Usually, it's the left side that they spawn in from first. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to keep that third grunt alive because I don't want another wave to spawn. Yeah, anyways, there's these two pathways. There's left and right. They spawn from both sides. Just like, back and forth, back and forth, kinda. Um, so just keep an eye out on both sides to see which side they're, that, or each wave is spawning from. And only one wave will spawn at a time until, like I said, you kill three enemies. Um, and the elites usually come first. Ah, that was bad. Okay. And here I'm just killing enemies. Like I said, there's eight waves total. Um, one thing, you you see that truck back there? Blow up that truck with a plasma grenade. Oh, crap, I messed that up. I need to throw another one. want to blow up that truck. That'll help me uh, deal with this jackal sniper here in a minute. And I actually don't usually count how many waves of enemies I've killed. I just do it until they stop spawning. Okay.
And yeah, just stay back here. As you can tell, I'm hardly getting touched back here by any enemies, so... Okay, so no more enemies are spawning, so it's just that grunt. Alright, now that I've killed everything, let me go back for my sniper rifle. And I'm gonna immediately hard scope up here. And hard scoping is just where you like pre aim something, or maybe I have that wrong, but um, just pre aim up here. Because there's a gold elite that's going to spawn right here. Just kill him like so. Now I'm going to use this truck for cover against this jackal sniper that's over to my left. He's up on that ridge right there. Slowly look along the ridge until you see him. So I can see his foot. Okay. You have to snipe him twice in the body. And I killed him because of campaign scoring. Sometimes you'll miss that second shot, and if for some reason he's like right there, you can't get an angle on him from anywhere on behind this truck. If you throw a grenade back there, he'll move over to the left, and you can just kind of repeat what I just did. Okay, so you can either go left or right, but I'm gonna go neither. I'm not gonna go either of those ways. If you go either left or right, you'll actually skip two grunt spawns. So you have to go up here, jump on those boxes, come up here, then go into this hole. These two grunts will not spawn if you go left or right. So yeah, uh, with these grunts, I purposely fire on the ground so they turn towards me. And I, I just want their plasma pistols. I want one of their plasma pistols so I can deal with this... Uh, White elite down here. Okay, just stay up here, kill all the grunts. Then also this elite. Watch out for grenades. <clears throat> just waiting for that guy to come out. Did he die? Alright. Alright, but before before moving on, go back. And if you jump up here, there's actually sniper ammo. <clears throat> Just follow where I'm going. There's sniper ammo right there. And there's also battle rifle ammo right here. So, fill up your gun, dude. Okay, so... In order to trigger these enemies at the end of the hallway, you have to stand right there. You have to go right there. As soon as I hit that trigger, I'm backing up. Stay out of sight. So I want to snipe one of these guys, whoever the, has the strongest armor. And you can tell armor strength by what color their, their armor is. White elites have the strongest armor, then red has weaker. Then, um... Blue elites are the weakest. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just going to pick up a plasma pistol here. This will be the last time in the level where I use a plasma pistol. Alright, then I'm going to switch to my battle rifle. There's two grunts that are always to my left. Um, I'm going to kill these guys before this phantom comes. Alright. I'm going to back up because I don't want to get killed by this phantom. Now you see me zooming in right here. I want to see just how many elites get dropped off from that phantom. It can either be 0, 1, or 2. And the reason for that is because or there, there's 6 enemies total. right? There's So yeah, if you get 0 elites, you get 6 grunts. If you get 1 elite, you get 5 grunts. 2 elites, 4 grunts. right? Um, I just want to make sure that I know how many grunts spawn. Um, because grunts will grenade your warthog here, and I want to be able to kill them. Make sure I kill them, like, really fast so they can't grenade my warthog. And, yeah. So I got two elites. So switch to your frag grenades. 
I didn't. I should have done that earlier, but switch to your frag grenades and if you throw them back there, I'm looking for four grunt kills. I got two. Ah, uh, I got two. Dang it! Hope they don't grenade my warthog. So there's three. There's four. Okay. So yeah, now that those guys are dead, I can pick up my sniper rifle. I'm probably never going to drop this for the rest of the level. And there's three ghosts that come from back here. One's already dead, then two more. Normally your marines will deal with the ghost, or normally this warthog will deal with the ghosts for you. But sometimes the second wave of ghosts does this, where they just stop. You can just snipe. They're not moving, so you can snipe them pretty easily. Take your time to line it up, you know? Ain't that tall. Okay, so instead of getting in the Warthog, I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna shoot at these enemies. Try to kill the Jackals first. If you can. Or at least one of them. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna take the Ghost. Not the Warthog. So I'm going to go back up the ramp where I just was from, where I just came from, to make sure that my marines get in the warthog though, because sometimes they don't. All right, they did. <laughs> and if they don't, warthog, you can like put yourself in the passenger seat of the warthog, and then after once you do that, then marines will like drive, you know. Um, I, I don't know when you when you get in a vehicle, your allies like to get in the vehicle a lot more than them just getting in it in it by themselves. Um, but they did it by themselves this time, so I don't have to do that. Most direct route to the city center. So I'm gonna boost up here and stop right here. Snipe this guy. Snipe him in the body. Um, whenever you snipe a jackal sniper in the body and they drop their weapon. Or just whenever a jackal sniper drops their weapon, you'll always have a fully charged beam rifle. Okay? So that beam rifle on the ground is going to have 100 ammo. Or 100 charge. Um, so yeah, there's that, that jackal sniper. Then I'm going to move my ghost up. Still stay pretty far to the right. Just right here. This doesn't really matter exactly where you're at, but just in this general area. And you can snipe that guy. There's another jackal sniper there. Alright, so now I'm just going to use my ghost a lot. To just kill these enemies from range. Let my war... Let my allies take, like, all the enemy fire. That was dumb. That was also dumb. Alright, uh, this is annoying. Alright, I had to do something annoying there because this war or because this ghost like flipped itself. Or my because my ally did that to me. Um anyways. So yeah, pick up this beam rifle so it doesn't despawn. But just drop it immediately. I will be back for that, but I don't want it right now. So there's a bunch of grunts here. You can kill kill them with the battle rifle from range. And make sure one of these two elites is dead. Not both, just one. The reason for that is because I'm going to kill the second one with the with the ghost. But if you try to kill both with the ghost, then you can get like one in front of you and one to your left or something. And like, you'll just get wrecked, right? You'll get melted, so. And something that's awesome about ghosts in this game that I kind of wish was in Halo 3 is that if you're directly facing an enemy, you take like no damage, no matter how much you're getting shot. So I'll just get shot here a bunch and you'll see. It's only if they can see your side that you really take damage. This guy wants to shoot at me. So see, I take no damage. He hit me on the side there. So he's trying to board me, so I'm not gonna let him, but. 
Anyway, so right now I have two sniper rifles. Keep the beam rifle equipped. I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna park here on the side so that this other warthog that will spawn here in a second cannot like run into my ghost and blow it up because I want this ghost. So park over here to the on the side. Now I'm gonna snipe two elites. This guy up here, I wanna snipe. And then stay far back so that these enemies near that tower cannot shoot you. Because if they shoot you, then they'll they'll alert this guy to the left that I'm about to snipe. So this elite right here, he's next to a ghost. As soon as enemies get alerted, he'll get in that ghost. Unless you kill him first. So you can actually skip, well, not really skip a ghost, but kind of. And just to make sure that that ghost, like, no one gets in it, just try to destroy it from range if you can. I wasn't able to, but... Yeah, there's that other Warthog I was talking about. Ah, oh, yeah, Grunt got in that. Rip. See, I wasn't able to destroy that this time, sadly, but... You get the idea, I guess. An, a grunt and a, war, or a, and a ghost is a lot better than a, an elite and a ghost. So here I'm going to stay back. I want to... If you shoot these Phantom's turrets, he'll go away. So my goal is to let my Warthog do most of the work for me here. But I don't want this Phantom shooting at my Warthog, so... I want to destroy its turret so it will go away. I've killed two, and you can just tell by campaign scoring, like, how many you've killed. If you kill all three, you actually won't have to deal with this phantom in the next section. So this phantom will not appear in the next section because I killed all three turrets. Okay, I saw those ghosts coming at me, so I don't want that. Okay, so... My Warthog died, he wasn't very helpful. Every once in a while, you'll get a Warthog that will kill all these ghosts for you. It actually happens quite frequently, but I'd say like, not quite half the time, maybe a little bit less. But if you have to deal with these ghosts on your own, there's this hill I'm on. You wanna stay just below this hill so they can't shoot you. And what they'll do is they'll start shooting at you, but then they'll boost at you Soon as, as soon as they boost at you, like, well, not as soon as they boost at you, but when they get kind of close to you, you want to move to the right, turn, and ghosts have a gas tank, and if you shoot the gas tank, then the ghost will explode. And the enemies don't, inside of the ghost don't always die, but the ghost will, the enemies won't be in the ghost anymore, so they'll be a lot more vulnerable. So, you'll, you'll see here in a second, but... I'm going to wait for the ghost to zoom at me. I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to shoot the, the exposed gas tank. You don't want to go to the left because the gas tank will not be on that side. Okay. See? He blew up. So I don't like how many ghosts are kind of fighting me at the same right now, you know? There's four ghosts total in this area. Well, five, I guess, because, but you kill... You snipe that guy, so it's like four. Anyways, I'm going to do the same thing. And you can't always snipe his gas... Or you can't always shoot the gas tank like that, but... You try. So yeah, there's f four ghost total in this area, basically. Um, and you'll only have to deal with what your Warhog doesn't kill. So it seems to me that this is the last ghost, which means that my Warhog probably killed one.
So normally on the last ghost, you can just push the push it, right? But I'm not doing that because this elite's alive. Um, normally you'd be able to just zoom at it with your ghost. I need this guy die to die. He needs to die. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh. You know what? I, I don't care. I'm not. This is a deathless guide. It's not actually deathless. I I don't want to resp like. This is just my strats, I don't actually care about doing this level deathless in this guide. It's a lot harder to do this deathless when I'm commentating live. Like, so much harder. You would not even... It's like so surprising how much harder this is. I'll try to do them deathless, but... Yeah, I should've just, like... Right there, I should've just... Killed the elite first, or the ghost first, I guess. I played that really stupid. I, I really did play that really stupidly, though. And sometimes there's enemies still alive right here, so just look to see if they're there. Chief, the carrier just launched a wave of pods. They're inbound on Okay, so I'm going to get out and snipe everything. There's two ghosts and ah. I got shields down, rip. All right. There's two ghosts and a jackal sniper. Sometimes you can't hit that jackal sniper's head, which is fine. If you don't kill that jackal sniper right there, you can just go up here on this ramp and kill that jackal sniper from up here. So you, you notice how there's no phantom? It's because I killed all three of the turrets from earlier. Um, uh, sorry. Um, if you do, if you aren't able to kill the turrets, and this phantom's still here. Or s sometimes even just killing two turrets will be enough. You don't have to kill all three, but... If the phantom is still here, there's rockets right here. And you can just blow off the turrets by tracking a rocket at it. Uh, no big deal, really. Um, sorry, I'm trying to think what else to explain. Um... Alright, so I parked my ghost right here, so the elites cannot walk up this ramp. So grab you wanna grab the rockets for these ghosts. Cause there'll be four more ghosts that spawn. See I'm just sniping these enemies. There's three elites that drop in those drop pods. Um So, I think only one of those, or there's two, so there's still one elite below me somewhere. Right there, okay. You need to stick them. Now, before proceeding, just make sure you have rocket ammo. Then, don't, don't drop your sniper rifle if you are out of ammo, but since I'm not, I can. Because you, I want to be able to pick this back up later, but... So, um, I just pick up a beam rifle. Oh crap, I was too slow. Um, 
So the reason these ghosts are here is because I was... I was slow. These ghosts usually don't spawn until a little bit later, but... Anyway, so this is the second wave of ghosts. Or the second... Yeah, the second... The last two. Alright, so they're dead. Um... Right, so, anyways. So, the trigger for these enemies to spawn, you have to be like, it's like right on this line. Like right on this line. So, if you jump there. Now, I'm just going to come back up here. And I just want to snipe everything. Oh, the hitbox is screwed up with that. Okay. Yeah, I'm wasting all my ammo. All right. Direct. All right, before proceeding, I want two snipe rifles for the rest of this level. There's sniper ammo up here, so you can just grab it. You can actually grab it through the wall like that, but... So yeah, now everything in this area is dead. Um... This tunnel links up to the bridge. It's full of rats, if you know what I mean. Grab a fresh Keep ghost. Because damaged ghosts cannot shoot straight. Like, one of the... Two... Um... We'll shoot straight on a damaged ghost, but not both. Kind of annoying. The Covenant tactical chatter. They're surprised. One of your two guns will shoot straight. It's really annoying. So, I start off by shooting at the jackals. Not really to kill any of them, but just so I can get this ghost to come up. Not you and me. All of us. Humanity on Earth. Odd, I know, but it does help explain Then my warthog will come up. And try to make sure you don't, like, get hit by the Warhog. It might sound dumb, but I've died a lot to my Warhog just ramming me. Alright, so in this part, just kill everything from up here. Shoot the turret. Shoot. Just shoot everything from up here. It's always best to kill everything from range where they can't shoot back at you. And that goes for, like, every situation in the game. If you can. Alright, so these drones, I'm just gonna get right here. And I'll just stay up here and kill. I don't have to kill all the drones from up here, but I wanna kill a decent chunk. Okay. Um, I also wanna kill that turret from up here. Alright. So there's actually still a lot of drones alive. Um, okay. Yeah, don't get too far forward. Um, just stay back and let the drones come to you. And then there's also one more elite here. He can hide in multi. He can hide anywhere in this like pile of junk, but. Be careful. Make sure he dies. Can grab a fresh ghost here if your ghost is damaged. Mine isn't, so I'm not going to, but that's always an option. So again, just kill enemies from range here. There's a turret here as well. Okay. 
So whenever an elite runs towards you, they're trying to board you like that. Um, just back off and shoot at them. Okay, so there's two ghosts in this area. They can either come from the left or the right. I just like to hang out in the middle so I can see like which way they're coming from. And as soon as they come back here, shoot at them. That war or that turret marine will usually do a good chunk of work for you, but. Okay, so in this shadow, for those of you that don't know, this vehicle's name right here is a shadow. You either have three colors of elites. There's going to be a blue, red, or white elite in there. So right now you can see I have a, I have a red guy. Um, I, snipe at the, I snipe at this guy if it's a red elite. I do not snipe if it's a white or a blue elite. And the... The reason for that is, if it's a blue elite, you can just take your ghost and shoot at it with, shoot at it with your ghost, and it will die before it jumps out of the turret. With a red and a, uh, with a red and white elite, if you try the ghost strat, it will jump out. However, the the reason I, I will still use the ghost strat on a white elite, and the reason for that is because. If you try sniping at the white elite while it's in the turret, it'll still jump out anyways, because you had to snipe them six times in the body on a white elite. It's only four snipes if you hit the fourth one in the head, or any of them in, or like, yeah, but... Six times in the body on a white elite, so it'll jump out anyways. Um, but it takes the same amount of shots to the body to kill a red elite as it does a blue elite, but... The ghost strat just doesn't work on a on a red elite, so I'm gonna snipe him three times. He's dead. Now just kill all these enemies from range, kill this turret. There's an elite up there. Now I'll get another warthog spawn right left. Um there's two more elites. My warhog almost just killed me. Okay. Now, I always grab this fresh ghost, even if my thing is only, like, slightly damaged, my previous ghost. Alright, so I let my warhog go first here. Because that way he doesn't, like, get, like fall behind. Um... And these shadows only start, only spawn as soon as I get that, or as soon as I hit a trigger, so if my Warthog goes first, then it'll be a lot more helpful to me than if it falls behind. So right here, I'm just shooting the turret guy. And you can also kill the driver just by shooting the back of it. It takes a long time, but you can still do it. Like, I just killed the driver. And each one of these carries a fresh ghost. If you need it. So I'm just gonna do the same same thing with all three of these. Just try to shoot the gunner from range with my ghost. If you need to, you can snipe the turret, but I don't like doing that very much. Like you can get out of your ghost and snipe at the turret guy, but I don't like doing that. Like yeah. So yeah, like like I said, you can shoot at the back, or you can just go to the side of it and shoot them right there. So my ghost is kind of damaged, so I'm grabbing a fresh one. Alright, so you won't always be able to kill um, you won't always be able to kill all three shadows, all six enemies in, all, in the three shadows. If you aren't able to, they will actually stop moving right here. 
Oh, that's a Cortana glitch. There's a glitch if you pause it for a certain amount of time. And unpause it. It'll just repeat a previous line of dialogue. Anyway, so... If you can't kill the shadow, they'll actually stop right here. Humanity on Earth. And you just take your time killing them. The driver will get in a ghost and you can just... Just deal with him. It's not that hard to deal with, just like earlier. Um, not really much to explain there. Um, so I'm gonna get out. I don't want to get. Sh I did. I, I do not want to get shot at by this guy. So I'm gonna stay kind of behind him, pretty far. I'm gonna get out of my ghost. The first guy I want to kill with my sniper rifle, specifically your beam rifle. Try not to use your UNSC sniper. Um. I want to kill this turret grunt. Okay, then there's three ghosts. Two of them flipped over, but... Obviously that won't always happen. If they don't flip over, just do what I'm doing. Let them come at you. Just line up with their head and you can get a pretty easy headshot. Okay, so just to make sure that more elites do not get in these ghosts, I will be destroying these. Okay. And there's only one more enemy I want to snipe. That turret grunt. Okay. And if you run out of beam rifle ammo before that, I still think, like, just stay here. And kill the turret guy with your ghost. From however far back you have to be where it doesn't shoot at you. Um, save your UNSC sniper ammo. You'll need it for the next level. Okay, so this is the last enemy on this level. So, if you still have a little bit of beam rifle ammo, then don't do this. But if you are empty, pick up like... Any gun, any gun works for this, just pick up a gun and carry it over to the next mission. And the reason for that is you'll be trading that out with a marine, and I'll, I'll get onto, into that on the next level. Um, but yeah, that was my guide of all the strategies that I came up with for completing outskirts with zero deaths. Obviously, I died right there once, but it's just a guide, so like, whatever. You can see my actual deathless run. I'll have that on my YouTube. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it informative, and um, catch you on the next one. Alright.